keeping on this topic, Paula, can we shift to institutional interest in fund to funds? Um, this is a topic um, dear to my heart as well. I think it's probably the smartest, diverse, most diversified approach. Um, have you seen interest renewed over the past month? How That's is this year great been? question. I think before I get into that, it's important to understand that in the digital asset space, I, we have observed like two, two separate variables of investors. One is like what I call the crypto wealthy, the people that participated in the space early on, and they generated a lot of wealth investing you know, in Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera, and they're holding the crypto. And the second one is a traditional investor, the ones that I believe as a fund of funds will be our sweet spot. And it makes sense, right, for foundations and endowments to participate in the space. Unless you have the technical expertise and the traditional finance expertise, you should not try to deploy capital directly. That's my perception. Um, similar to Chris, I, I agree in the last few months, I see the sentiment changing. I think a lot of like the largest alloc allocators in 2021, they felt FOMO, maybe a little bit of greed, and I want to be nice about it, but in 2021, they wanted to deploy capital, participate in the space without really conducting a profound due diligence, and a lot of them lost a lot of capital. Some of them even like 90%. So that's why, you know, they, they are been sitting on the sidelines in this cycle, and they're not deploying capital. The sentiment is changing, but I don't think fast enough. And one of the things that I want to say, you know, for the allocators in this room is, is an invitation to come into the space before the next bull market. Take your time doing due diligence and understanding where you're going and allocate your capital. I think it's very important. Yeah. Can I just stick on the fund to funds approach for, for one second? I always felt that when you look back on the history of hedge funds, it's the early 90s that was really the heyday for, for fund to funds. Um, it was easier to do manager selection, alpha was more plentiful, and you could create a very good portfolio that was very robust um, across different strategies, across different asset classes. Um, and I feel like we're in that golden era right now for digital assets. And I, I, I see institutions who are uncertain about different risks within their portfolio taking this approach, right? Like on a look-through basis, you have, call it a dozen to 20 managers. On a look-through basis there, you have hundreds and hundreds of positions, derivatives and futures, um, and a lot of different, different diversified exposures. And if you believe in the asset class, if you believe in the beta, you can get a diversified beta to all the different subsectors, right? To, to GameFi and Metaverse and infrastructure, and you name it, all the different strategies can be exposed. Or you can um, have it on a market neutral basis as well, right? You could even have it so that all of the alpha kind of percolates to the top and you're stripping away as many identifiable betas as you can. Um, so I'm with you. 